the experience has been great and I'm grateful to be among the inaugural class for the Frontera uh, Fellows. And uh, to start with, um, the experience in terms of uh, teaching, I was slotted to teach in the academic year 2020 to 21, but due to the Frontera Fellowship, I was I, I'm not teaching currently, and uh, um, I was able now to focus more on my research, and uh, it has bared fruit. And we are currently in our final stages to conclude two peer-reviewed research papers. And also, uh, it has been great due to my mentors who have been able to assist me in terms of installing code on the Frontera cluster and just guiding me through the uh, through. So before I started my PhD, I've never run numerical simulations in a supercomputer before. And I I always do it on a desktop. And I thought it was like the best thing ever because I'm able to run a storm in about like eight to 12 hours. But transitioning into a supercomputer definitely sped up the work and learning how to use it to schedule jobs. So I've been able to simulate a lot more experiments than I've used to. Um, I've done plenty of simulations and um, learning how to program to be able to automate jobs is, is really great. I was able to do some two classes, audit classes, and it's because of the Frontera Fellowship that has enabled me to do that because, as I said before, I wasn't teaching. So I was able to focus more on research and I had time to do other things. And the other things I did was audit classes. And one of the classes I audited was uh, computational material physics with Professor Smeu over in Binghamton University. And also over in TAC, uh, Dr. Victor, he taught us C++ and all that was possible because of the Frontera Fellowship because if I wasn't a fellow, I don't think I would have been able to audit a class over in uh, UT Texas. So I'm really grateful for that. Everyone at TAC has been very helpful to me and, and the fellows from getting set up on the Frontera system to the accounting, Sophia, and I've been very fortunate to be able to attend workshops also in TAC. Um, it's been very helpful because I learned programming during those workshops. Also, Ro Rosie and Natalie has been on top of everything during meetings. Rosie has icebreakers to make sure like you know, we don't stay quiet all the time and we get to know each other even if we're doing this remotely. My mentor Lars has also been pretty awesome and he's always there whenever I need help on, on the programming side of things. Just getting to learn what other people are working on and what the tech people are working on then sharing the results with us. That has been an amazing experience. And just being able to meet our Frontera, the other Frontera fellows online even though it's not in person, some of them have become my friends. So it's been an amazing experience, I would say. But for me, I would say the one that would have been a fun, fun experience is actually being able to travel over to the campus. But due to COVID, I don't think that would be possible. But so far, I love everything, any every energy. I love working with the Frontera.